right, here we go. When I came to, there was a woman standing there, a woman I don't know. At least, I don't think I know her. Now, I'm not the kind of guy who can just stand back and watch a poor woman get shot, but I have just one little problem. I'm all... Wait, you play the game and you're dead? I'm dead? <laughs> That's a wrap. Game's over. Welcome to the ghost world, the land of the dead. Oh! Wait, I think I get the game. It's called Phantom Detective, so that's us. In a moment, time will start to flow normally again. This will be your chance. Trick. Oh, I did a ghost trick. <laughs> okay, but like you gotta admit, for being a dead guy, I am hottest YouTube. Look at my drip. When you use your powers on a corpse, you can go back to the past to a time four minutes before that person's death. And she's still wet with it. Wet. <laughs> oh, that's cool. You can change the way that it happens because of how you end. I was like, how is this going to be different if you start at the same point that you started at the beginning of the game up top? But if you start at the bottom, you have a different perspective. already wow a stranger that word strikes a chord and a terrible truth begins to dawn on me were we dating i can't recall a thing is she like my wife who exactly are you anyway just call me ray like a ray of sunshine uh, wait a minute Th these powers of the dead i'd like to use them to save somebody else's life and whose life might that be do you even have to ask mine of course if we can use ghost tricks to save ourselves, wouldn't I have tried to save myself as well? I mean, look at me, I'm a desk lamp. But in any case, it seems we are unable to use our powers on our own corpses. You're kidding. You'll only exist in this world until tomorrow morning. I'm afraid that fact can't be changed. So there's really no escaping my own death? Unless somebody else saves me. So if the girl died and then the same thing happens to the girl, the girl saves me, I save the girl, boom, we both live. Life hack. I got ungodly excited about a cat. <gasps> oh! He jumped on my lap! <gasps> and then I saw him right there on the other end of the line. I saw the face of the man who ordered me dead. Whoa, he looks like the other guy. Maybe it's father and son. <laughs> Just slaps it. And that is why we can't afford to trust that sizzle. No, we must be very careful. What if he died on purpose knowing that he had this power? This is one step ahead, Tango. I'm at the Target's apartment now. And how is that man? Have you taken care of her? No, she isn't back yet. What? If the Target got here first, they wouldn't call me one step ahead now, would they? I don't get it, but in any case, man, once you've taken care of her, then you'll promote me to the head of the Hitman division? But no, man! You know, you're even getting one step ahead of me! We can discuss my new salary later. Great Scott! Now you're even getting one step ahead of your one last step ahead! <laughs> this is so dumb. I love it. Is that a dead dog? I swear to God, if this guy killed the dog? That poor, brave little warrior. He must have been trying to defend his mistress. So he did kill the dog? Heartless bitch. Miss Camilla! My Miss Camilla is in trouble! You mean you remember? You know who you are? That's right, I'm Missile. Nice to meet you. Wait, Missile and Sissel? There's a connection. Is this my sister? I'm Sissel. This is Missile. Camilla's my sister. Oh, maybe not anymore. Why is her hair a rose? Really? We're really here? So that means you're going to save Miss Camilla, doesn't it? Aren't you even surprised? I mean, we just traveled through time and... Not especially. I mean, Miss Camilla can walk around on two legs, but I can't do that. <laughs> so if she can do that, then it's not so strange that you can walk backwards through time. <laughs> This is true dog energy. I don't have any powers of the dead. I'm not even dead, actually. But I'm gonna find a way to go help Miss Camilla, too. I love this dog speech so much. Ah, the tension of the crime scene. He's so extra. Oh no, that pistol. You don't 
think. It's Lynn's, do you? So Lynn is a detective and the murder weapon might be her pistol. What could it all mean? So like, what if Lynn killed me knowing that I could go back into the past and prevent somebody else's death? I obtained a new background. Oh, I thought it was talking about the black screen. <laughs> I'm like, oh, thank you. I just got a black screen as my background. I was confused. I think I was killed tonight while I was meeting with you. So you must at least know me, I think. I don't think I can help you. Because uh, I don't know you. <laughs> a lot of my theories just went out the window. Lynn is our angel. I, I mean, friend. I, I mean, she's like family to us. Angel, friend, family. They all run like when they had the chance. Do you have any idea how many years it's been since my wife ran away? Oh. She couldn't possibly fit in that tiny little elevator. I, I don't know, sir. Lynn is pretty slim. Fool, don't you know that women can make themselves appear slim through fashion? To this day, I still don't know how much my wife really weighs. Oh my god. This is the place Lynn took all that risk to call. But what exactly is this place? Well, they have keys. Maybe it's like a prison. Haha, <laughs> I died again. Did she kill herself in order to see us? Oh, holy shit. It's a big trap room. If you open up the door. Wow. Holy shit. What is up with this room? Ah, forgot about all that. Now you listen to me, kid. Yes, sir. You're bright as the sun. Lynn probably doesn't even know that you exist. Would you mind just leaving me alone? <laughs> Rough, buddy. That's rough, buddy. Wait. That's rough, buddy. Like, I literally hate the way that this guy sits. Like, this is such an uncomfortable way to sit. The only reason anybody sits like this is because you're trying to impress a co-worker. Tonight, I lost a lot of things. My life, my memory. But there's a certain skill I've apparently lost, too. I can't read! I wouldn't think that this is D99. Wait! He has Lynn's hair. This is her dad. He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. So if this is her dad, the reason why she feels so strongly is because of that. She doesn't think her dad shot her mom. Who is the man in that painting? Well, being in prison like this, you start to forget faces, you know? So I paint the faces that I don't want to forget. And this is the last of those faces. It's gonna be Sissel. Oh my god. Her hand's shaking, she doesn't want to. One thing sticks with me though, Lynn looked so surprised on that tape. What in the world did I tell her? Probably something about her dad. I shouldn't call D99 her dad, I just am. My brain has been convinced. The thing is, she could have taken the gun, but she left the gun behind on purpose. Like she was meant to be caught. We also don't know the extent of the powers of Ray. We know that you cannot possess living things, corpses. Ray from the beginning seemed to say that there was special circumstances. So I'm wondering if there is some kind of weird possession that Lynn had and then setting her up. This was on purpose. Oh, the heavens! What do I do? If I had known something like this would happen. Oh my god, the ultimate theory. Ray is this chef. It's always the person you least expect. There wasn't anything written on Prisoner D99's blackboard. It was all blank. Blank? No! I didn't think she'd lose it over a blank blackboard. That means he's gonna get murdered tomorrow. You got the information you wanted from me, and then you shot me. Isn't that what happened? No! No, I didn't shoot you! So, what are you gonna do now? You fulfilled your goal, right? You found out who shot you. Is this the ending I was hoping for? Had I unraveled all the mysteries of me? Yeah, I think we probably have solved all the mysteries. We could probably end the game there. What is your connection to Prisoner D99, Detective Jow? He seems like more than just a co-worker. I suppose you have the right to know. Detective Jowd is my hero. Oh, Not her dad! I was so set on dad. I'm sorry, Lynn. It... it's tonight. The execution is set for 11 p.m. Oh boy, this is getting pretty serious. Would you knock it off with that weird flipping and flopping around? 
I can't stand looking at it if you don't stop. I just might have to pound you. Oh, might have to pound you. Hey, yo. Now that I'm dead, what do I need with memories? And things I don't need are just trash. Not to me. I need your memories. Besides, I promised Lynn I'd try to stop your execution. Lynn. It looks like I still have a few bits and pieces of garbage left lying around. Oh! <gasps> if the switch in the death chamber is thrown, the chair will blow up. If the chair blows up, the execution can't be carried out. This seems like a really inconvenient way to execute someone. Like, why would you choose to execute someone via electric chair? There's gotta be better methods for this shit. Crisis averted. Now we have no way of executing him. There's literally no other way to kill a person. Are you the one who made that toilet bell ring? That's right, I still had another napkin lying around. Thanks to that, I managed to make it here. But how did you know to do that? I learned a few things about your ghost tricks during our time together. I knew that if the internal phones weren't working, you'd be trapped in the death chamber area. So I quickly came up with an alternative route. This guy is very intelligent. I can see why he's a detective. This detective likes to just dive right into things even more than Lynn does. Okay, I definitely think that this is her dad. I'm, I'm taking it back. She said that this uh, that he was her hero. Ah, uh, no. It's more than that. On the other end of the telephone line, the scene that greets me tells me one simple fact. Things are getting spicy here. Oh! Ten years ago in a certain park, a little girl was taken hostage. I was still young then. I didn't have any self-control. I remember asking myself at the time, Jowd, are you going to shoot this guy? And this is what I answered. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot. And the man died. I took his life. That man was Ray. Just kidding, that would literally be impossible. That picture you were painting in your cell tonight, that was me. Which means you must know me. I can't talk to you about that right now. Plot convenience, man. Because I don't know your true face. This time, Lynn isn't dead. For now, Lynn isn't dead, but she'll probably die in about a second. Hi, Lynn! It's -a me! Oh! Oh, that's not good. I gotta say, though, no matter where you go, somebody always seems to turn up dead. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> she says that with a smile on her face. The justice minister's daughter has been abducted. The kidnappers demand the execution of the death row prisoner, Jowd, to be carried out tonight. Oh. Okay, I didn't see that one coming. This house is where I used to live. I'm convinced that this is a family. I always was convinced that Lynn, Jowd, and Camilla were a family. So they used to live in this house prior to that incident happening. Because the murder machine that we saw before that Lynn got killed by, it's the same device that was in the basement of that lab. Like, maybe him and Jowd built that machine to begin with? Why does the little lady have a core of the dead? When I helped her at Lynn's apartment, she didn't have one. So that must mean she must have died sometime after that. And it also means somebody else must have saved her. Okay, so the murder from 10 years ago that we're all so concerned about, could that dead person be doing this for 10 long years? By the way, about your father. He's going to die. Oh. Okay, yeah. Okay. At least I got something right. I set up that contraption. I still can't believe it happened. It wasn't supposed to work like that. My dad told me not to tell anybody. Just leave it to me, he said. And he took the blame for it. I feel it. I sense something here in this room. I can sense your presence, you know. The next time I sense you, this child will die. So some dead person is working for them. I think why now is a big question. Like why does Jowd have to die tonight specifically? Maybe the person with dead powers has a limit, like they are going to permanently die by the end of this 24 hours. If they don't solve the case tonight as a dead person, so they recruited Sissel. It's just a matter of, I guess, who that person is, which right now I'm guessing is the person who died 10 years ago. That's a really long time to be dead though and have these dead powers. That's a bit weird. But where does the cat come in? Oh my god! What does the cat do? I didn't figure out what the cat does! What is the cat? And when I'm executed tonight, that will be the end of it. 
Camilla won't have to suffer any more after tonight. You dying isn't going to end that girl's suffering. It'll just bring her new suffering. The only person's pain this execution is going to ease is yours. Yikes. She said the contraption she made did something it wasn't supposed to. It made an impossible move. Oh my god, why didn't I think about that? Why didn't I think about that? Why didn't I think about that? Oh! Wait, is this a revenge plot? Oh god, ah, ah! The guy who Jowd killed 10 years ago was trying to get payback all this time. But I also haven't thought about the fact of why Jowd was painting Sissel in the first place. Could this be super spicy as in like he was a part of the incident 10 years ago? I told you, you couldn't call him tonight. What do you know about it, Mama? He's the one who's the justice minister, you know. All you do is write weird novels. She writes fanfics. What do you mean, weird? How dare you disparage my romantic expressions? Oh my god, I love that her hair, like, actually bloomed like a rose. <laughs> You but you're right, I shouldn't treat you like such a little girl anymore. You're growing up after all. And I promise to stop calling your novels weird and try actually reading them. Oh, 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 wait, no. Maybe you'd better wait until you're a little older for that. Yeah, yeah. It looks like the only thing pressing on me will be the chandelier. Here is to pop my mama's darling angel. <laughs> I just imagine this like cranky old rich lady who is just horny as YouTube at all times of the day. And she has to deal with a husband who just works all the time. So no wonder she's like this. So she just fantasizes all the time. And then that causes her to write fiction too. We knew about the existence of somebody who could control others, a manipulator. Woo! Spicy! A month ago, I signed the order to carry out Detective Jowd's execution. However, that act wasn't of my own volition. I was being controlled. At the time, it didn't even cross my mind that I had been manipulated, and my memory of the event was only hazy at best. So the memory of being manipulated doesn't clearly remain, eh? Lynn, me being shot. So, okay, that solves that. Why though? So that would imply that it's also Ray because like Ray showed up immediately thereafter. <laughs> but there's still the eternal question of who is Ray. If you don't withdraw that order and tell everyone the truth immediately, I'm moving out. She's kind of a queen. She's just a horny queen. That's this entire character. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Minister. I suddenly have some urgent business to attend to. I recommend that you think long and hard before making your final decision, sir. He's running. Why so eager to run? Sissel, if you're there, come to the park immediately. Who's dead? I'm starting to realize what a lucky man I am. Oh yeah, dude, this guy, he's gonna go home to like the best sex he's ever had too, I bet. He is a fucking lucky guy. Hey, why so quiet? Why so quiet, Ray? Where's my body, Ray? If Ray could manipulate other people, could he actually manipulate a dead person? <laughs> oh, she's still there! <laughs> She is enjoying this way too much. What? Oh! <gasps> Why? Why can't Camilla die? Why is she so important then? This person with much greater powers than me? It's... You? Of course, that answers the question so simply. Why save Camilla? Well, because it's a YouTube dog. Wait, that means the dog's dead! Missile, what's going on? How did you get the powers of the dead? I'm glad you asked! Did you do that until you... Oh, don't keep showing us. Oh, wait, that isn't how you died? Okay, I thought he like rammed his head until he died. It's the rock that gave Missile his powers. He died in a very opportune spot. Aren't you that little girl from that time? I'll never forget it. It was 10 years ago in this park. What's going on? When it crashed into the ground, 
the meteorite gave off a shower of beautiful fragments. And then I saw it. One of those beautiful fragments pierced into the criminal's back. The Rock of the Gods was given the name Temzik, and still today it lies sleeping deep in the park's earth. What if that person was me? It's Sissel that got hit by the rock in the back. In the beginning of the game, Sissel's body has like the shock waves around him, and it's the same waves that came out of the rock itself. So that tells me that it was in him. That still does not explain where Ray comes into all of this. So if I just solved all of that, what the goddamn YouTube is Ray? What if somebody else has like a ghost trick power of manipulating corpses specifically? So like this whole game we play as somebody else, but Sissel, the true soul of Sissel that died 10 years ago is the person that Ray is. And that's the ultimate plot twist. But where does the cat come into play? Hmm. I just met Sissel for the first time tonight. And he died right in front of me. The name that I know the man in the park that day by is in Sissel. Yes, get to the good stuff. No! Ah! But the scene I find waiting for me on the other end of the phone line feels like the final nail in the coffin of my lost memory. What's going on? What? Ah! Sissel, where have you been, my good man? We've been looking everywhere for you. Yeah, okay, so they were working together. Yeah, like he's gonna notice anything I do. <laughs> I control everything, the shell, people, just like I controlled the Justice Minister and Lin. This music is really popping. <laughs> and he thinks that he killed him. Okay. Maybe this Sissel guy actually sucks. You stay right here and be a good boy now. And that's when I did it. I left it behind in the interrogation room. My gun. What he said is true. If I hadn't made that mistake, he never would have had a gun to point at Lin in the first place. How do you f YouTube. up that bad? As soon as I tried to make an incision, it would heal up in the very next instant. Okay, but the cat. He came with a briefcase to set up Lin. That means he carried the purposefully the cat in the briefcase. The cat knew to move his body below. So the cat is a villain. How did you find us, my man? We detectives have a little saying. If there's something you want to know about a case, ask the criminals. The bullet the man in red was shot with had a radio transmitter in it. Oh my god. These bitches. They did that. Sissel has underestimated us. He has left behind his precious bargaining chip here. Oh my god, I thought that went up my ass. Oh my god. That's... Oh. <sighs> Clever. I came all this way tonight trying to chase down my lost memory. For quite a bit of tonight, I thought I was you, Sissel. Sissel. Oh, well, my name isn't Sissel. I bet you'll remember it really soon. Oh my god, they still won't tell me. <laughs> but why were those people targeting me? I never even heard of the Temzik meteorite. Because you were looking into the Jound case. They thought that you would find out about Temzik sooner or later. Okay, but the cat? It's been ten long years, Detective Jowd. Are you... Yo me yo me yo. Yo! I knew it. My name was gonna be just Bob. So that's your real name, huh? Yo meal Bob. What good were my powers? They didn't help anybody. 
Not even the passage of time could heal my pain. Oh, this is so cool. The moment the Temzik fragment was removed, my shell became a regular corpse. We can go back, back to four minutes before your death? I can revive me. Wait, no, I can't revive me. That's part of the rules. Wait, but like, I am a different person. Ah, YouTube. This is YouTube. This, I can't, never mind. Stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. The cat! The one mystery I can't solve in this whole thing. The cat. Now that it's changed, what's in its path? The cat. Wait, oh, it's just Jout, okay. He'll be fine, don't worry, this is but a scratch. I don't know if it's his detective training or what, but even though he's shaking from the pain, the gun doesn't waver. That is pretty badass, actually. But we were overlooking one thing. The wheel of fate was still turning. Yeah, we still have the cat to deal with. That's right, I'm gonna save that little girl. Save her by manipulating my own unconscious body. That is so badass. Ah! Holy shit. Kitty cat. The cat. It's kind of limp. Is it okay? That's funny, it doesn't look like it's injured. Kitty! <laughs> this is the best game. This is my new favorite game. It looks like his fate just changed in a big way. That kitten's, of course. kitty cat detective hat i bought this hat three years ago so i was foreshadowing my ghost trick playthrough three years ago that is insane i was possessing sissel then it wouldn't have looked very much like a murder if the corpse got up and walked away after all so you borrowed the body of your old friend sissel was inside that bag i was carrying tonight I had no intention of leaving my friend behind in this country when I left. But then, when I went to possess his body, I realized something horrible. Sissel, there, inside the bag, was dead. I wasn't able to control her completely. She shot him. That's when I lost my life. Right there in the presence of Temzik radiation. I had to die somehow with that kind of a reveal to have our powers in the first place. I can't even rewind time, let alone change the fate of a death. If I could do those things, I would have saved your life. Before you go back to our new present, I wanted to thank you. Can I ask you a question, Ray? I want to know who exactly are you? Let me tell you about another version of tonight's events. Oh boy. After they stole her life that night, they broke into her apartment. Two little dead bodies were left behind. However, the little fellow's spirit lived on. He desperately reached out his paw toward his mistress. And that's when a miracle occurred. In the end, he was left behind with the man in the red in the deep, deep sea. And then... He went back. He went back to the world of 10 years before, to the moment of the man in Red's death. Where are you going with this? He decided to wait it out. He decided to wait until that night came again. So that was you, huh? Holy shit. Then you mean that thing? is about ceasing to exist? Completely made up. A little naughty of me, I know. Completely lied. Missile. So you waited and waited these 10 long years. That is very dog-like behavior. <gasps> Everything is normal. Oh, look at me! Oh, wife is alive. 
And so we meet again, Cecil. Oh. Show Takumi! Why are you so good at making games? So this is where you work, huh, Papa? Oh god, the woman! I hope she had, like, the best sex, man. I wish the best for this horny wife. Ten long years, Yomiel. Your time's up today. The young lady who always comes to visit you is awaiting outside. Thank you, Sissel. This was a beautiful game.